Now what we have here is a lawnmower which has a mass of 22 kilograms and its dynamic coefficient of friction with the ground is given as 0 0.68. What's also given is that there's a force F which is being impressed on the mower and its angle with the horizontal is given as angle alpha equal to 33 degree. Now the question here is what is the magnitude of this force such that the mower moves at a constant velocity. So at a high level what we have to find is the horizontal component of force F which will help in pushing the mower in forward direction and this force should equal to the force of dynamic friction and when this happens the mower would move ahead at a constant velocity. So before going ahead let's identify what are all the forces acting on the mower. So we have one force F which is given as acting on the mower. We, we clearly have the force of gravity which is acting in downward direction and we have normal reaction that's the push by the ground on the mower which pushes it up. Now there's one more force which has not been labeled here and it's a force of friction, the dynamic force of friction which is giving resistance to the movement of mower and it will act opposite to the direction of movement of the mower. So let's go ahead and label that force as well. That force would be something like this acting in opposite direction resisting the motion of the mower. So let's go ahead and label it as Fs. Now we know that this problem will get solved through Newton's second law of motion. So let's go ahead and write Newton's second law of motion which says that the net force that acts on a body is equal to the product of mass into the acceleration induced by this force. And this equation can be written for any axis for all forces acting in x direction or all forces acting in y direction. So let's go ahead and resolve all the forces that we have in horizontal and vertical direction. So we have force F over here. Obviously, it will have a horizontal component which can be shown like this and its value therefore would be F cos alpha. It will also have a vertical component and it would be something like this and its value would be F sin alpha. The normal reaction and mg are vertical forces and therefore they'll have no horizontal component. Likewise, the force of friction is a horizontal component, it'll have no vertical component. So let's sum up all the forces that are acting in the horizontal direction or along the x-axis and we'll keep the notation that any force that's acting in this direction would be taken as positive, any vector that's acting in this direction would be positive and any vector that acts in this direction would be taken as negative. So with this notation, we can see that F cos alpha is acting in left direction. So we can write minus F cos alpha plus Fs because it's acting in the right direction should equal to mass into acceleration. But we know that the mower is moving at a constant velocity. We, we have to find the value of force at which the velocity is constant, which therefore means acceleration is zero. So this should equal to zero. Now let's go ahead and sum up all the forces that are acting in vertical direction. The notation we'll take is that all vectors pointing in downward direction will be taken as negative and all vectors acting in upward direction as positive. So with this notation, what we have is normal reaction acting in upward direction. So let's say one force is N, which is acting in upward direction. Mg is acting in downward direction. So we'll take it as minus Mg. And we have F sine alpha also acting in downward direction. So we'll take it as minus F sine alpha. And we know that Moor is not moving in vertical direction. And therefore the acceleration is zero. And we can equate this with zero as well. Now from this equation what we get is N equals mg plus F sine alpha. Now getting back to this equation and let's go ahead and label this as equation one and this was equation two. So getting back to equation one what we have is minus F cos alpha plus the force of friction and Fs would be nothing but mu d 
into the normal reaction should equal zero and we've calculated n as mg plus f sine alpha so if you substitute the value of n in this equation what you get is minus f cos alpha plus mu d into mg plus f sine alpha should equal zero and if you solve for f what you'll get is f is equal to mu mg divided by cos alpha minus mu sine alpha and now if you substitute the values of mg and alpha in this equation what you get is f is equal to 0 0.68 into 22 kilograms into 9.8 divided by cos of 33 degrees minus 0 0.68 into sine of 38 degrees i'm sorry it's 33 degrees so let me correct it over here and if you solve for this what you'll get is f is equal to 342 newtons so what this means is that if the mower is pushed with a force of 342 newtons there would be enough horizontal component of this force which would not be nothing but 342 cos 33 degrees and this would be just enough to neutralize the force of friction fs so that the mower can move with a constant velocity